laryngeal cancer. Pathophysiology of laryngeal cancer. Cancer originates in a single cell of larynx in the body. The cell divides and grows in the organ of origin, causing a localized tumor. A mutation causes a cell to divide uncontrollably or ignore apoptosis. The effect will lead to cells proliferate caused by tumor cells lacking p53. Gene encoding p53 is frequently mutated in human cancers. So, the damaged DNA is replicated and passed on to daughter cells instead of being repaired. Because of loss of tumor suppressor genes, a mutation of proto-oncogene thus creates an oncogene. The cancer cell is then generated. Signs and Symptoms The symptoms for cancer of the larynx can be similar to symptoms for other illnesses, but it is important that you report any of them to your doctor. Hoarseness or a change in your voice. Difficulty in swallowing. Weight loss. Cough and shortness of breath. Other symptoms. A feeling that there is a lump in your throat. Bad smelling breath. Halitosis. Stages of laryngeal cancer. Stage 1. The tumor is in only one part of the larynx and the vocal cords are able to move normally. Stage 2. The tumor is in more than one part of the larynx. Stage 3. The tumor is throughout the larynx but has not spread further than the covering of the larynx. One of the vocal cords can't move and there are cancer cells in one lymph node on the same side of the neck as the cancer but the node is less than 3 cm across. State 4. The tumor has grown into body tissues outside the larynx. It may have spread to the thyroid gland, windpipe or trachea, or food pipe or esophagus. There is cancer in more than one lymph node, and one lymph node containing cancer is larger than 6 cm across. The cancer has spread to other parts of the body, such as the lungs. Type of laryngeal cancer Squamous cell cancer Cancers that start in the skin like tissue Adenocarcinoma Cancers that start in gland cell Connective tissue cancers If the doctor suspects a cancer of the larynx, this will include an exam of the larynx and hypophalanx, known as laryngoscopy, which can be done in two ways, direct or flexible laryngoscopy that inserts a fiber optic laryngoscope through the mouth or nose, and indirect laryngoscopy that uses special small mirrors to view the larynx and nearby areas. By obscene taste, the doctor removes a sample of tissue to be looked at under a microscope. It is the only way to confirm the diagnosis of laryngeal or hypopharyngeal cancer. These are two types of biopsies. Endoscopic biopsy, fine needle aspiration or FNA biopsy. Other methods. Compute tomography or CT scan. Magnetic resonance imaging or MRI scan. Unchased X-ray. The left side is a normal larynx and the right side is the laryngeal tumor cancer. Treatment. Surgery. Chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Radiation therapy. There are two types of radiation therapy. External radiation therapy uses a machine outside the body to send radiation toward the cancer. Internal radiation therapy uses a radioactive substance sealed in needles, seeds, wires, or catheters that are placed directly into or near the cancer. Surgery 
Surgery is the process that removing the cancer in an operation. Cardectomy Remove the vocal cords only. Supraglottic laryngectomy Remove the supraglottis only. Hemilaryngectomy Remove half of the larynx voice box. Total laryngectomy Remove the whole larynx. Laser surgery Uses a laser beam as a knife to make bloodless cuts in tissue or to remove a surface lesion such as a tumor. Chemotherapy Chemotherapy is a cancer treatment that uses drugs to stop the growth of cancer cells, either by killing the cells or by stopping the cells from dividing. When chemotherapy is taken by mouth or injected into a vein or muscle, the drugs enter the bloodstream and can reach cancer cells throughout the body.